Hey everyone, I'm going to follow off of Anthony's lead with this Transparency Tuesday because I think it is a great idea to be honest not only with everyone out there but honest with yourself. And so the thing that I want to focus on this Tuesday is continuing to look at the goal that I set for myself to write an hour a day and to think about what I have accomplished because to be honest I have not been able to write an hour a day there have been a few days that I was able to meet that goal um, but many days where I'd only be able to find maybe 15 minutes maybe 30 minutes whether it was just talking on the phone while driving home uh, with Anthony and figuring things out about characters and stories uh, on the treadmill running and and trying to figure things out whatever it was I, I realized that what I was doing most of the time was waiting till 11, 11.30 at night to write. And so I was writing, you know, right before I went to bed, which showed to myself that I wasn't making it a priority. And, and so what I want to focus on this Tuesday is limitations and knowing yourself and what you can and cannot do. And if anyone that knows me, I'm very good at taking on way too many tasks. I, I, it's hard for me to say no, and I think the best way to define myself is a jack of all trades. And that's not bad, but you have to remember that with that saying, a jack of all trades, a master of none. And if it's one of those things that I want to master writing and become better at it, I have to realize that that has to be a priority. And I have to realize what are my limitations. And obviously the limitation is only so many hours in a day. We only have so many hours and I wake up at five, I go to bed about 12, 1230. So I'm not getting many hours or, or you know, or a lot of sleep. That's something that I probably should do more of, but I also try to, you know, jam my, my day full of a lot of things. You know, I wake up and I read for a while, both for, for pleasure of trying to keep up because I had a goal of reading a book a week, which I've done for so far, and then I have to read for my classes, you know, since I'm finishing up my master's. And then by that time, I have to get ready for work, and I go in and I do my emails and, you know, and, and all that good stuff, and then trying to figure out time to, to work out at the end of the night and trying to find time to eat. Sometimes I might skip a meal, which is not the greatest, or I eat while I'm still working, you know, watching. I love those master classes. I watch those during my lunch break. So I'm, I, I try to jam way too much in, which is great for growth and development, but when you think about something's got to give. What are your limits? We are human, so we have to realize that you can only do so much. And if I want to make writing a priority, I have to think about what has to give. What do I need to give up in order to make this happen? And so obviously I've, I've spent many hours uh, thinking about this. I've talked to Anthony. Anthony and I go back and forth and we try to think about not only as you know business partners and best friends and, and writing partners and all this that what is best for us as individuals, as a company, as filmmakers, you know, in filmmakers in the community, what can we do to progress? And for me, I was thinking about, I'm like, it's even just the schedule, thinking about, I wake up and I, I, I read from 5 to 6.30 or, you know, maybe if I do sleep in from 5.30 uh, to 6.30, is switching that and making that the time that I write and starting off the day and kicking it off that way and saying, this is how I have to set the pace. And still trying to find time to read, but maybe doing that at the end of the night for pleasure, you know, right before I go to bed. Although knowing me that right when I pick up the book, because it's gonna be so relaxing, I'm gonna fall asleep. Uh, but it's, it's kind of thinking about your limitations and what you can give or what has to give. Because again, if you want to progress and think about how to grow, you've got to dedicate more time to that. And so that's something I had to be true to myself is to realize that even though I set this goal, after listening to Anthony talk about transparency, you know, and being open and honest, I had to be open and honest with myself. Am I making it a priority? Am I making it a point to improve? Am I making it a point to make this, you know, what I want to do and giving it my all? And I had to say no. I, you know, I was, I was doing little bits and pieces and I was progressing, but I felt myself still 
being at that spot where I don't want to be. I want to, I want to move forward. So that's what I want to kind of focus on is for myself. I reflected on my limitations. I'm only human. I can only do so much. And if I want to make writing something more than what it is currently, I have to think about the priority and think about my weaknesses of what I am good at. Cause that's the sad thing is I do way too much. Not to say I'm great at everything, but you know, from work to everything else, I do good work. And so that of course brings more work because people go, Oh, you do good, do more of it. But I can't do that. I have to think about what is right for myself. And if writing makes me happy and that's what I like to do, I got to make that a priority in my life and make that a strength. So I want you guys, and I'm encouraging everyone out there to think about their limitations. You know, as independent, independent filmmakers, we try, I think we all do. We try to do so much. We, we wear so many hats. If you've ever been on a, a set, which many of you that I've worked with, we know you're multitasking. You're thinking, you know, as a producer, you're thinking as a, a first AD, as a director, as a cinematographer, as a gaffer, a grip, you know, boom audio. Uh, you're thinking about the editing and post. You're, you're thinking about everything which makes it that something's got to give. So take the time to think about your weaknesses and your strengths, what you want to improve upon, what you believe at the time you can move and, and put aside, but focus on improving yourself, knowing your limitations, and let's try to, again, as a community of filmmakers, as individuals, let's push ourselves to find what it is we want to do, our goals inside, find our limitations, and move forward throughout this 2019.